Special Fulton County Grand Jury looking into what happened after the 2020 presidential election in Georgia went back into session today. That grand jury will look into allegations of criminal wrongdoing and efforts to overturn the results in Georgia. Fox 5 senior IT reporter Dale Russell joins us live from the Fulton County Courthouse. And Dale, today you spoke to one of the key people subpoenaed to testify. Yeah, that would be Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. He's going to be a key witness tomorrow, and we had a chance to talk to him at length today, but today is really a big day for Fonnie Willis, the Fulton County District Attorney, and her team of some 10 or so investigators and prosecutors who had a chance to sit down with the full grand jury, the special grand jury, and sort of lay out the case that this grand jury is going to be investigating, a case of allegations of election fraud and that they'll investigate over the next year. Security around the Fulton County Courthouse was on display Wednesday morning as the special grand jury investigating former President Donald Trump and others was set to begin. A number of Fulton County Sheriff's deputies were on hand, some with rifles, some with bomb sniffing dogs, walking the perimeter as grand jurors quietly headed in, masked and unnoticed. Security was stepped up after Fulton County District Attorney Vonnie Willis received threats after she announced the formation of a special grand jury. What I can tell you is I don't think that this is a joke. A source told us Wednesday was for Willis and her team to give grand jurors an overview of what the DA's office has already learned from some 50 witnesses who volunteered information and give grand jurors a blueprint of what is to come. Are you nervous at all? No. Why not? Uh, because we followed the law and we followed the Constitution. The key witness in the grand jury investigation, Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, set to testify Thursday about a phone call he received in January 2021. Then President Donald Trump, who had narrowly lost Georgia, called Raffensperger and urged him to find enough votes to reverse the election results in Trump's favor. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. In his book, Integrity Counts, Raffensperger wrote, I felt then and still believe today that this was a threat. Would you tell them that you felt pressured by the president? I heard what the president said, and I understand that he has tremendous uh, positional power, but also knew that we followed the law and we followed the Constitution. And now, that special purpose grand jury will hear Raffensperger's testimony and much more from potentially dozens of subpoenaed witnesses with the task of deciding whether the grand jury believes a crime was committed. And we'll hear more from Secretary of State Raffensperger at six and also look into the allegations that involved then, then President Donald Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani and um, Senator Lindsey Graham. That'll be all new at 6. Reporting live from the Fulton County Courthouse, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.